Merry Christmas and happy holidays, guys. We are about to unbox this bad boy right here, and I'll be right back. So everything about Sacred Crafts, I know it's about uh, reclaimed materials and really doing stuff for being environmentally conscious. And for those of us who are really environmentally conscious, Sacred Crafts is doing something really great for us. So the, the box right here is also made out of reclaimed wood and we can see the uh, distressed marks here. A very pleasant blue as well, nice finishing. So let's get in to the, uh, to the watch. And I already know that there are gonna be two layers because I had some experience from Virtual Marker Lux when I got to spend some time with both Matthew Harkins and Jeff Andrews. So there is a second layer right there, but let's spend some time with the top layer because I believe this is where our watch is. And here's some tissue. And yep, here is uh, the presentation for our watch. Just a really impressive presentation. And it comes with this bonus rubber strap, the bracelet that it comes on, and this genuine Horween leather strap with a cool, really cool plating right there. So let's check out the La Grand Mer right here. So here it is, it's in 44 millimeters. It is a Swiss made watch uh, and it uses the ETA 2824. So the first thing that I noticed about this watch has to be this green material around the bracelet, looks like around the crown and on the side of the case. Really, really attractive. So it looks like it might be some kind of jewelry, right? Like emerald or some kind of jade. But again, this goes back to their whole environmentally conscious reclaimed roots because this is what they call the terrazzo. And it is a combination of using some kind of high grade jewelry, bio epoxy to create the shape where they can use that to cut out. But inside of this is genuine fishing nets and you know that would otherwise clog our oceans and all of its inhabitants so you know the fish are definitely saved a lot by reducing all of those fishing nets so i i really like that uh, a lot and i think the whole theme about the sacred crafts is about being environmentally conscious so if we're into that then this this is a really nice this is a really nice thing that they're doing of course none of that would matter if the watch itself wasn't worthwhile, right? Because we could see right past that and it would be more like a gimmick, but let's check out the watch right here. And it is a really nice, nice, really nice watch. It feels very substantial in hand and there's the movement that, again, I believe that's the Eta 2824 and they use a nice custom rotor with nice perlage design right there. So really, really impressive here. So there is, it is on the wrist. Really nice fitting actually too for 44 millimeters. I don't know all the dimensions yet. This is really more of an unboxing here, but uh, really sharp. So I'm gonna put this back on to the pillow and let's check out the bottom layer of, of our box right here. So, okay, this is it. And I haven't had a chance to explore what's inside of this envelope. Oh, okay, there's something else here. So let's check out what's inside Oh, this reminds me of those office inner memo envelopes here. I remember those back in the day. Memo with Rich promoted. Well, let's see. Okay, so inside of this, this I'm sure this is reclaimed paper as well. Okay, so here's information about more uh, on the watch. It's really nice so far. So, okay, booklet with our information. More information about culture reclaimed. And what's this? Okay, this looks like a certificate of authenticity on the La Grande Mer. Oh yeah, I remember reading this on the website. This is just to certify that the watch is literally in limited edition numbers rather than just a marketing ploy. Okay, more information about the watch, really cool. And I haven't seen what's in this. This is obviously like a watch wallet or a case for the watch. Uh, looks like it's made of kind of nylon here and again it looks like it's uh, from reclaimed materials there's their emblem right there it looks like it's in bronze so let's check out the inside okay okay so it looks like it's a tool to change out our different straps that the watch comes in wait there's something else in here oh extra links I don't remember asking them to size the watch down. Let me go back to that. Let me just check if they did that because I do know that uh, an option available on their website is that they can actually size the watch down for us and include the links. I wonder 
if if that's what they did here. Well, it looks like it's a little bit roomy as it is right now for me, so I'm not sure what that is, but oh well. It came, I'm not sure what those extra lengths are actually. So I just noticed that. I'm putting the watch back on the pillow. So, okay, this is this is a nice cool pouch. I'm put this, all of this back in here. So again, this tray right here, it would, could be really nice, a nice valet tray. Uh, I could actually use this, store your keys or whatever in there uh, at the entry of entry of your house so nice stuff here and this is more of a more of an unboxing presentation uh and a preview of of what's to come and i am really impressed by this so far so again the whole theme of the sacred crafts is learning about uh their journey and i really encourage you to check out their website because that is a fun place to spend some time on we learn about their journey about how they came about choosing the materials for the watch and uh, it makes us really root for them. This is a feel good story with the Sacred Crafts team because it, it's almost impossible not to root for them after we follow their journey and why they chose to um, go this route of being so environmentally conscious and being legitimately environmentally conscious, including finding other materials. So uh, we'll get to spend some time with this watch and we'll come back with full details and a full review on the watch, but so far very impressive and I'm very glad to report that uh, based on my first impressions here, that the watch is not just about uh, a gimmick or marketing about being environmentally conscious. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.